and a critical understanding of the environment, it's important. Why? Because you need to know what are the pressures that the people are facing. Because today, I have people coming to me, telling me, oh, you know, we need a reform. And the way they ask the question is quite clear that they are under the pressure of the surrounding society. They are not coming with the intention of faithfulness. They are coming with the intention to please. To please power or dominant culture, the world. I say, this is the way to be open-minded. So question your intention. What do you want? And this is something which is important. When you are in our situation, in the Muslim majority countries, as well as in the West, you cannot just come and say, oh, it's a neutral question. I don't get it. There is no neutral questions. If you come and you work for a government and you come with a specific question, ask your intention. Who do you want to please? Because some government, as it was said, I haven't seen a government giving money not only in the West, but in Muslim majority countries, they give money, they have a specific intention. So some Muslims here, and this is part of our environment. It's very important for us living in the West to know that some of our you know, leaders, Muslims, they are so much under pressure that they are coming with the concept of reform which has nothing to do with faithfulness, which has to do with pleasing. And sometimes pleasing the Muslims because there is a state of fear. So it's a very very important point here. So this is why we should never have scholars today working for a specific government, here or there. Never. Why? Because you are playing the very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. So what I'm saying here, by saying never, is once again, and I think that the point was very important here, question the intention of the scholar. Because sometimes, in a specific issue, it's quite important to be close to the rulers, to be able to be critical to be able to, to help them to be critical and to understand that. So, once again, not to be used by governments and not only in our societies, in the West, in Muslim majority countries, not to take into account this pressure coming from the environment could be very dangerous. This is why scholars are people coming from within. They should be very clear on knowing the text, knowing the environment, but the atmosphere the environment, the psychological dimension of the fatwa. And this is what I wrote in the foreword of the European Council. I said, be careful. It's a very good first step, but be careful. We're not dealing only with legal opinion. Legal opinions are dealing with psychology. And you have to take psychology into account when you deliver a fatwa. Because the pressure around you could be so strong that the psychological atmosphere could just distort the very essence of the fatwa when the people are taking it out of fear. It's a very important point. The psychology of the fatwa, the pedagogy of the fatwa in the context should be taken. So this is why we, it's not simple. It's a very complex issue. 